today we are talking about sunscreen at Q's Tech on YouTube. We are talking about Sunset Screen. It is a app for Windows. There's a portable version as well, and uh, you can take. And when you go to install it, you might have to be asked to install .NET 3.5 or higher. And if you if you have a newer version of Windows, you probably already have it. So say, let's go ahead and open the app here. Let's open this this app up. Uh, in my open broadcaster software here and we're going to show you about this app by sunset screen okay so we're getting this app we can customize the sunset time we can customize the delay until sunset and we can customize the transition phase the color we want the hues we want, the saturation we want, and the brightness we want. What's nice about this one over Flux is with Flux, you couldn't control the brightness. You couldn't control the saturation. You, they only gave you so many presets, and then you can only control the color contrast ratios. But with this one, this one's really nice. You can customize it like you would a monitor, like on an ODS OSD on the monitor manual clicking on the buttons to where you get the color you want this is in all in software it's kind of like customizing your graphics card color contrast ratios but this software makes it simplified to where you can do that say I want it at 80% brightness saturation 19% and hue at 48 degrees during the day the reason why I have it like that is because I like to have it to where it's, it's a little a little dim and then the saturation is a little warm with a little bit of reds to it. I like a warm screen. I like to remove all the bright white and blues and have a warm color screen. I feel like I read better with warm color screens. And they give you all these presets. What I do is I click cloudy sky and I customize it down to that because it, the cloudy sky kind of gives you a, a different kind of contrast which is kind of uh, a, little, a little you know cloudy and uh and I put a little warm on it a, a, a little warm saturation on it you can customize it the way you want now for me at night i go candle candle 50 percent because I like mine like a photo room. I like mine dark. I like it at dark at 30% brightness. So what I do is I click candle 50% and I customize it the way I want. So you go through the settings and you pick what you want, what color contrast ratios you want at night and day, and you see what what is customized and what works with you. And that's what I like about this program. Because you can take and customize it to where it's customized to your liking. You customize it to the way you like it. And there you go. You go in there. And you set up and done. You don't have to go through all this stuff. And you don't have to go and do no computer menus or anything. It's pretty nice. You don't have to go through some monitor menu. And what's cool about it is it's got these little hot keys where control page up and down is the brightness and then control period shows the main window and control forward slash turns sunset screen on and off and you can also invert colors day and night but yeah, it's not my thing but y'all might like it so it's cool to try so yeah you can go it's like highly customizable over flux 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 is great too but it's not as in depth into this, but but what's good about having this with Flux? Flux is good about controlling your Philips Hue light. This don't do that. This only does the computer monitor side of things. So I recommend having both Flux and this, it, and disabling the color contrast ratios on the Flux, because Flux, you know, it controls your 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 light bulbs, 
and your Wi-Fi and stuff and all that. So that's pretty cool. But for this, I recommend using this Overflux. It, it's mainly what you do. I recommend just you know uninstalling Flux and put this one on there because you can go brightness, saturation, hue, and with that, that's what makes it great a greater program. And there's also a portable version of it. You can have it anywhere you want and run it, and that's it. So yeah, that's my. This is Q's Tech. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and have a great day.